Interpol is basically essential. Um, if you look at wildlife crime, for instance, um, we're seeing quite sophisticated syndicates now dealing with all our, our wildlife products, particularly for South Africa in the sense of rhinoceros. Um, and those syndicates are working transnationally, organized crime, and therefore we have to bring Interpol in and we have to work collaboratively and in an integrated manner with all of our police stations, our police officials, um, as well as the Interpol officers all over the world. You know, we're finding that our wildlife products are ending up in many countries, um, in transit, as well as in a lot of the other countries within Asia. And we really need to work with our national crime bureaus in order to deal with those types of issues. We're really looking at how we can strengthen the communication um, between the countries. So I think when it comes to the transnational nature of the crime, it means that the products are moving out of South Africa into other countries. We need to be understanding the routes that they're taking, understanding you know, who the syndicates are in those other countries and Interpol can really assist obviously with the communication, um, with getting the police officials within those countries involved in cross-boundary investigations that we need to do collaboratively. And I think there's, there's quite a big role, I think, moving forward that, that Interpol can really play in terms of us doing these joint investigations. Because I think if we're not going to work together on those types of investigations, we're never going to root out um, the transnational crime that is linked to wildlife currently. The World Wildlife Day is coming up on the 3rd of March. I think one of the big things that we're doing within South Africa is to bring together all the different agencies that are involved um, in the fight against wildlife crime. And I think what we have recognised and I think what Interpol is recognising is that only together can we actually deal with this issue and address the problems that we have. And it is only when you bring all of these different agencies together um, and deal with it collaboratively can you actually address the problems. And I think we also need to understand that and raise awareness around that on the 3rd of March.